Hi, my name is Dave and today I'm going to give you a little tour of the Zeiss Telemeter 2. This is a very famous telescope, highly prized, first of all because it's a Zeiss, there's nothing better than uh, the optics in a Zeiss telescope and this one is beautiful. Anyway, this little telescope is quite charming, it has a lot of wonderful features that make it very desirable to me. The focusing mechanism for this telescope is quite unique, I have not seen any other telescope made like this. This is the focuser right here. Now you may not see anything happening and you won't. There's nothing moving back here. What's happening is the lens housing in the front is connected through a mechanical system here and the lens in the front is actually moving. Now this thing is solid. This is made just as solid as it can be. So it's, it's very very robust and the focusing mechanism here adds to the robustness of the telescope. So it's a, a very sturdy telescope. Zeiss is renowned for making very sound, rather heavy uh, optical instruments and this is no exception. It's also got a very nice little equatorial mount which is unusual and fun in its own right. I'm loosening the locks. The locks are indicated in, with red so once you lock it down, you now have slow motion. And this is a tangent kind of a slow motion. So this doesn't have a gear in here. Instead, it's got a little tangent arm. And it, it, you can use this to track for a certain limited amount of time, maybe half an hour or so. It's plenty. And, uh, this is the locking device that holds it on here. This is a uh, it's a dovetail, very similar to a modern Vixen dovetail and the clamping system here. Of course, Zeiss overbuilds things. This clamping system, maybe I'll show you a, a picture of that, is really, really sturdy and robust. Uh, there's not much chance that it's going to ever fail. This is the dovetail system on the scope. Anyway, nice and sturdy. In addition to those features, it's got this unique rotating system here. The nice thing about this is though, it has an Amici diagonal in it so that when you look through the telescope, you're seeing a, an image correct type of a view. If you were looking at a terrestrial thing uh, and you turned it, you would be able to see the terrestrial thing closer and closer, be able to read the writing on it and so forth. Now this has a set of unique Zeiss optics. This very strange looking thing here is a 40 millimeter Huygens. It's the low power eyepiece. This is a 16 millimeter and comes into a 10 and then finally to a 6 millimeter orthoscopic very high quality telescope optics all the way through here. Now this thing, you can rotate this, so this rotates for convenient observing anywhere. This also comes off through a quick disconnect. So there's the basic Zeiss 63 by 840, 63 millimeters in aperture, 840 millimeters in focal length. Telementor. It comes on a sturdy mount. The mount here, I think maybe I'll take that apart and show it to you. Okay, so you loosen this lock screw here and this comes off like so. This is pretty heavy here but convenient. This is not what I would call a grab-and-go telescope. I didn't include this telescope with my grab-and-go telescopes. It's not easy, <laughs> even though it's only a 63 millimeter, it's not easy to grab this and go outside. I end up making three trips. One for the tripod which is beefy and heavy. Another for the mount itself which is, as you can see, fairly beefy and heavy, and then a third one for the telescope, which is also pretty heavy. This telescope sits up nice and high so that if you want to, you can put it up very, very conveniently for, uh, for use uh, with a tall, you know, re a reasonably tall adult human being. Let me set this up for solar viewing. First thing I'm going to do for solar viewing is actually I'm going to actually take the finder off. Now this quick disconnect comes off with what's called M44 threads. So that pulls out. And this thing just attaches like that.
Okay, I've now got this set up for solar viewing. This is the projection screen. The um, Huygens eyepiece here would project an image of the sun down here on the screen. I wanted to show you some close-ups of this mount. It's extremely well engineered, very robust. Everything Zeiss is. This is the way it works. It's even got little setting circles. Very nice. You lock these down. You don't even have to really lock them tightly. You can actually just lock them, sort of set them a little bit, and you can move them around. You still have the slow motions. So it's a matter of a little bit of touch there, and you can get to feel how that works. It's very nice, nicely engineered. Here's that robust clamping device. I want to show you. I don't want to drop the telescope. Not a good idea. So here's the dovetail. Very much like a Vixen. Um, perhaps a bit more solid. A little bit smaller. Look at the clamping device here. You won't find a better clamping device. The Telementor has it comes standard with only a couple of eyepieces. I believe it comes standard with the 25 Huygens, that one, and the 16 Ortho, if I'm not mistaken. Those are the two that traditionally would come with the telescope. Those are two of the eyepieces. I've, in addition, acquired a 6 Orthoscopic and a 10 Orthoscopic and a 40 Huygens. This strange looking 40 Huygens. Uh, this of course is M44 thread so it could screw right onto the back of the telescope but it also screws into this slot on the rotating device things. This is a very nice image directing system. Look at the size of that. Compare that to what you would traditionally find on um, you know, a 965 type of a telescope. This is a horse and it's heavy. It's actually very heavy and of course it's Zeiss so it's going to be the finest possible construction optically and mechanically. This is a star diagonal again a Zeiss Jenna star diagonal M44 threads here M44 threads there so you can uh, screw that right on and then use it uh, with with all the uh, appropriate things. I now have the scope set up for Altazimuth mount uh, for Altaz use and you can see that I've got the Zeiss image erecting system, beautiful image erecting system, uh, set up with, uh, this is the 40 millimeter Huygens. You can use any of the typical Zeiss eyepieces with it, of course, if you want. Uh, I wanted to show you how easy this is to, to move. You can move this around very easily, altitude and azimuth. And of course, probably a more practical thing is to sort of tighten these up a little bit. Give them a little friction, enough so they'll stay where you want them to stay. And then of course you still have slow motion should you want it, like so. You've got a beautiful little terrestrial telescope. This is just a superb little telescope. It's actually not that little, is it? You've got a superb Zeiss telescope for terrestrial use, configured in that way. I hope you've enjoyed my tour of the Zeiss Telementor 2. Thank you very much.